I'm Edith Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Paris at COP21. Really pleased to be joined by John Morton, Chief Operating Officer at the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, which is actually part of the American government. It is, yeah. But you invest. So tell me a little bit about what you do. Right. So OPIC is uh, the U.S. government's development finance institution, which means that we're the part of the government responsible for helping drive, catalyze, mobilize foreign direct investment from the U.S. into 160 countries around the world. We're a development agency, but we do it with private sector tools, direct loans, loan guarantees, political risk insurance, et cetera. And tell me about how climate has been an opportunity for you. What, what kind of investments have you guys been making? So about five years ago when I joined the administration and joined OPIC, uh, OPIC was lending about $100 million a year to U.S. companies investing into renewable energy projects around the world. For the last four years, we've invested over a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So we've had tremendous growth. And the story that I like to tell uh, is that that shows that it's not a this, this market, the renewable energy market, in emerging markets, in some of the most challenging markets around the world, is now economically sensible. It's a, there's a positive economic proposition for investing in solar, wind, geothermal, biomass in an ever-increasing number of countries around the world. So tell me about some of them. I know you've been in Africa, you've been in the Caribbean. What's, a, what's a, a story that you could tell me? So we do everything from $300 million concentrated solar investments in South Africa to $1 million off-grid uh, hydro or off-grid solar projects in Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda. So we really run the gamut. Mm -hmm. um, I think what, some of the most exciting stuff that we're doing now is, in fact, that smaller the, the smaller mm -hmm. uh, projects because... Mm -hmm. um, Comparatively, it's relatively easy to put up a large power plant. Right. People know how to do that. We've been doing that for years. What's harder is to find ways of accessing and providing power to the 600 million Africans that currently don't have a connection. And what's exciting is that we're seeing increasing business model innovation, mm -hmm. entrepreneurial activity in that space. So over the last uh, couple of years, we've supported about six or uh, now, now seven discrete off-grid projects. Um, Projects that aim to electrify an individual house, sometimes a, a, a mini grid, a, a mm -hmm. small village, uh, and sometimes a larger village. And there's business models that are attacking each of those. Mm -hmm. Tell me about um, how you think this COP is a little bit different from, from other COPs. Well, so I've been at three COPs now. Mm -hmm. I was in, uh, I was in uh, uh, Cancun, then in Durban, and then we took a bit of a break for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and, and now we're back. Um, and the reason we're back uh, is because we're now in a very different part of our uh, storyline mm -hmm. with a billion dollars a year of investments. Um, I think this one is different. I've been here now for three days mm -hmm. in two specific ways. Um, the first is that um, the amount of activity that is occurring at the state and local level, when I say state and local level, not just in the U.S., but right, all over the, over world. the world, is tremendous. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, forward-thinking mayors, state governors, et cetera, are putting into place policies that enable investment to mm -hmm. flow. Uh, and that's exciting. So I spent the first day here with Mayor Bloomberg and mm -hmm. uh, Paris Mayor Hidalgo in, in their amazing group, mm -hmm. uh, uh, events. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is just the private sector investment that is flowing now is tremendous. You know, in an increasing number of countries around the world, renewables are not just an option. They are the preferred option. They are the cheapest option. Mm -hmm. And that's only going to continue as the cost curves on renewables continue to come down. John, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Paris. And I'm Edie Lush.